How is it possible that one humble man who worked as a bookkeeper for the railway in Australia saved the lives of more than two million babies? And how did a shy young doctor in New York City come up with an idea that would become one of the greatest medical breakthroughs of the 20th century? These questions are at the heart of my new book, Good Blood, the story of the race to cure a blood disease called RH that stalked families and caused a mother's immune system to attack her own unborn child. It begins in 1951 in Sydney, Australia, when James, age 14, received life-saving blood transfusions, something that would alter his very chemistry. A few years later and a half a world away, John Gorman, that shy doctor at Columbia University, landed on his idea for a breakthrough to this disease. It was an unvaccine, he liked to say, and it was beautiful in its simplicity. The only problem? No one thought it would work. These two men had no idea how their lives would intersect to solve a global medical mystery. John Gorman was kind of this mad scientist tinkerer. James Harrison became irrefutably the world's greatest blood donor. The story takes readers from Australia to America, from research labs to hospitals, and even into Sing Sing prison where these experimental blood trials were held. It's complete with a daring transcontinental shipment of this experimental drug that broke all the rules. Good Blood is about the progress and pitfalls of medicine and about the everyday heroics that fundamentally have changed the health of women and babies. It's a reminder for our times that many great things start in tragedy. In this case, a researcher lands on a crazy idea and a railway worker finds he has almost magical blood. I love this story and I hope you will too.